This fairy light lantern is such a beautiful room decoration, plus it will make your room feel extra cozy. It's perfect for the winter time when the days are shorter. <laughs> this time of the year, candles and lanterns are our best friends. Place a set of fairy lights into a bigger vase like this one. It's best to use lights that run on batteries to avoid all the cables, cords and stuff. Pack all the lights into a vase. Now take some artificial snow and let it snow on top. I like to use just enough snow to cover the batteries box. Ta-da! We got ourselves a beautiful lantern in less than a minute. This looks so adorable and cozy. It will look amazing on your nightstand as a table decor or even in the bathroom. This lantern provides a gorgeous subtle light perfect for those lazy winter evenings. Now let's make this beautiful mittens pillow which is a perfect decorating piece for Christmas and winter on general. You will need a cheap pillowcase, some pattern fabric, a piece of white fabric, yarn and fabric glue. First we need to cut a mitten shape out of the fabric. Find the stencil of your choice on the internet. I typed mitten stencil, got many pictures and chose this one. Print it and then cut it out with scissors. To keep the stencil in place while cutting the fabric we need to stick some tape pieces on one side. Flip the fabric so that the wrong side is facing up and stick on the stencil. Now we can easily cut a perfect mitten shape and the stencil will stay in place all the way. Here we go, our left mitten is all done. Now we have to make a mitten for the right hand too. And here they are, our beautiful kneaded mittens ready to decorate our pillowcase. Apply some fabric glue on the back of the mittens, hot glue should work fine too and stick them on the pillow. Fancy pillowcases can be very expensive, well you can get such plain cases like this one for a few dollars. I chose red one which makes it a bit more Christmassy but you can use white or blue one and your pillowcase will be perfect for all winter long. Next step is optional but I happen to have this white faux fur fabric so I decided to cut two little pieces and stick them on the wrist part of the mittens. Now they look even more soft and cozy. To make our pillow even more interesting and full I'm gluing a piece of white yarn making sure that the ends are attached to the mittens. This string makes the pillow look so retro. I still remember having such gloves when I was little. Here it is, our mittens pillowcase is all done and it looks amazing, right? I mean, you can't even get such a cool design in a shop. This is a great decoration for your bed or a sofa. It just adds a warm and cozy feeling to any space. I absolutely adore it. Wanna make your room look like a real winter wonderland? This frozen candle will help you get just that. To make it, we need a vase, snow spray, artificial snow and a candle. Now let's put our winter wonderland candle together. Take a piece of paper and sketch a zigzag line all along like that. We're creating a stencil that will help us make the perfect ice stalactites. Cut along this sketched line using your scissors. This shape really reminds me of scary teeth of a shark or some other beast. Relax, Sarah, it's just the paper. Okay, take your vase and wrap the stencil around it. As you can see, the top of the vase stays uncovered and this is where we will apply the snow. Take your artificial snow and spray it all around the vase until the top edge is completely covered and you can't see any transparent parts. I really love this spray as it makes everything look so wintry in a second. After a few minutes the snow on our vase sets and we can remove the stencil. Here we have them, perfect ice stalactites all around the edge of our vase. Now what's left for us to do is to pour in some artificial snow and place a candle in the middle. This is such a fun DIY to make and I think it really turned out epic. In the evenings I like to turn all the lights off and I light this candle. It seriously looks so gorgeous. This could also be a great gift for a friend, your mom or anyone that likes candles and pretty decorating pieces. Now let's make some marble bowls which are a great decorating and organizing piece for any age. We're gonna need some clay, a bowl, dough roller and a gold fabric marker. Roll the colors of your choice into strips like this. I have white, green, violet and yellow. Now you need to twist all the strips together and the more you twist the more marbly your bowls are gonna be. I want my design to be quite full so I decided to roll my clay again and then twist it like that. Just play with it so that the clay colors mix together. When you feel like you have a good pattern, form the clay into a little marble bowl. Place it on the flat surface and use a roller or something rounded like a vase or a bottle to flatten it. Just as you would be baking cookies. Place the clay on top of the bowl and let it dry. 
Here I made another one. For this one I swirled the clay even more so I got an even more marbly rustic look. I decided to put it inside the bowl and make the edge even more wavy by folding it in. My clay is air drying so I just have to wait for a few hours for my bowls to dry and harden, but you can bake them and speed up the process. For the finishing touch color the edge in gold or any other color. You can use a marker or acrylic paint to do that. Ta-da! The marble dishes are all ready and a perfect gift for a friend, your mom, grandma or anyone that likes cute room decorating pieces. These are great for storing jewelry or anything else like keys, pins, you name it. Another DIY, another walk in the woods. This time I'm picking up pine cones, acorns and these balls which I don't even know what they're called. Have some fun exploring and pick up whatever you find where you live. I decided to spray paint just the balls while I'm keeping pine cones and acorns natural. Leave the paint to dry for a minute and mix all these beauties together. Put them into any kind of transparent vase or even a bowl and you get a gorgeous decoration perfect for fall and winter. I love going outside and bringing home pieces of nature. I think such natural decorations give so much life and joy to my apartment. Time to make this gorgeous winter wall art with snowman and a little quote. We need a canvas, a palette, blue and white acrylic paint, sponge applicator and optionally some water. Let's make a blue gradient for the background. Squeeze some dark blue paint on a palette. Dip the sponge in the water and then into the paint. Color the upper edge of your canvas making a white blue stripe like that. The background should be darkest on top and lightest on the bottom so to get a slightly lighter blue shade mix in a bit of white. Then color the section below the darkest blue with the lighter blue shade and blend the two colors together. For an even lighter blue color add more white acrylic paint and color the section below our previous color. Continue these steps by adding more and more white paint until your canvas is all covered in this pretty blue gradient. Color the bottom part using pure white paint to represent the snow on the ground. Alright, now it's time to print out the quote There's no place like home in a big heart. Of course, we also need to print out a snowman. Cut the heart and the snowman out. How cute is he? Apply some glue on the back of the snowman and the heart and stick them on the canvas. You can get a lot of snowman pictures on the internet, so just google it and you'll find a lot of results. You can of course be creative and instead of the snowman you can print other pictures like a house, a Christmas tree, anything you like. The options are endless. To make this wall art extra wintry, draw a lot of white snowflakes all over the canvas using a small paintbrush. If you want an extra little detail, you can also add some silver glitter paint on top of each snowflake. Plus I decided to make a shade under the snowman using a pencil to make a picture more realistic. To bring together the canvas with the printed snowman and the heart, cover the entire canvas with a very thin layer of Mod Podge. I do suggest using a photo paper when printing out your pictures instead of a regular paper. This canvas is a great winter decor for your room or the entrance of your house. Here in Norway it can get pretty cold outside so I'm always so happy when I get home from the wind, rain or snow. So for me the quote there's no place like home is absolutely perfect. A very easy and super adorable winter decor ideas are these sweater candles. All you need is a candle, a glass and a sock or a sleeve of an old sweater. Put the glass into the sock opening and cut away the excess. I like to leave some extra fabric which I then tuck under the glass. Put the candle into the glass and you have the cutest winter candles ever. This literally take a minute to make and they look so beautiful, warm and cozy. This kind of DIYs are my favorite, quick, easy and stunning. I wanted this one to be more winter related so I'm writing on baby it's cold outside. I don't know about you guys, but boy it's been getting pretty cold here in Norway lately, so this totally feels appropriate. On the bottom part of the mug I'm drawing three penguins, four babies freezing in the snow. Start with an oval for the body, horizontal number three for the face and two lines for the white belly. Using yellow marker make a beak and their feet. And since I'm making fantasy penguins I'm coloring them in green, pink and blue. This DIY doesn't take more than 5 minutes and you get such a nice gift, just perfect. I love how you can be so creative with these mugs. You can make so many awesome designs, drawings, patterns, quotes, sky's the limit. 